Welcome back. So in our last video, we discussed what assessments are and why they're important. And in this video, we're going to talk about one of the assessments that we use, which is the CARS assessment. And before I do that, I want to talk about how joints work. So essentially joints are composed of multiple points, multiple bones typically, and the surrounding connective tissues. And those bones, they have to have enough space between them so that the joint can function optimally. And if that space remains in harmony and all the soft tissues do what they're supposed to do, you have a really nice moving joint. When that doesn't happen and we've lost some space, some of those harder structures can run into each other and that can create some problems. So when we do our CARS assessment, essentially what we're doing is we're trying to see how well the joint moves and that gives us a picture of how the orientation between the bones and how much space is actually in that joint. And that workspace, that, that will allow us, the good workspace, plenty of workspace, allows us to do many things. When we don't have a lot, and therefore, most likely, your car is not going to be ideal, well, that gives us something. It gives us a finding that we can work with and we can start to develop your program based off of that. So for example, if I were to take Kyle through a shoulder car, and I would say, okay, Kyle, we're gonna go across your body as far as you can. You're gonna make the biggest circle possible. None of your body is moving, just your shoulder joint. So I get a real good snapshot of what's happening right here. And you're gonna spin your arm, come back. Nothing else is moving again. So I'm looking at this joint, this glenohumeral joint right here. Good. And then you come back up. And you're gonna be going through all of these joints, all of these cars at every joint. Very good. Now, that's pretty good. He's missing a little bit of shoulder flexion, there's some compensations that want to eke in. These are the things that you're going to look for in your own car and we're going to help guide you with what those compensations look like. So if Kyle was doing his shoulder car and I noticed something at the top, I noticed that maybe he didn't get to the top of the range of motion. Well, what does that tell me? That tells me there's probably a, a, a something going on here. It could be structural. We could have lost that space. It could be tissue that's too tight. Either way, go ahead and come back down. It's probably not a good idea for me to give him some weight and say, hey Kyle, press this weight over your head right above your shoulder because we don't have the capacity. There's probably not workspace in the joint and, and maybe the tissues aren't allowing for that. So this is why the, these assessments are so important. We're gonna get snapshots with each of these different movements and that's gonna allow you to figure out where your priority is. And you might even have a joint that's much worse than you thought. You might have shoulder pain, but your, your spine is the thing that's not moving. So we're gonna have you film these on yourself so you get an idea of how you're moving. And then that way you can see maybe what this should look like compared to what yours looked like. And that'll give you a, a, a good idea of, of where to start with your program, what body parts to focus on. So I'm gonna guide Kyle through some of these cars and each, each one of these is gonna become part of your morning routine. We encourage you to do every single body part, every single car, every day. Why? Well, because if we do this full expression, we're less likely to lose that capacity. And we get this baseline from the first time you do it, and weeks from now, we can see how you've improved at every joint along the way. And that's really what we wanna do. We wanna help you build better joints so you can move better. That way you can move free and live well. Thank you.